Hey guys, it's Jalisa. I am back with another hair care video. Today is all about hair TLC. My curls need some love. They are dry and it is just time to give it some moisture, to give it a nice treatment so that my curls can pop and look healthy and shiny. So let's get into it. My hair has been braided under my crochet locks, so as you can see, it's a little bit stretched out, definitely pretty dry and in need of some love. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hair down to prepare myself for my shampoo. I love to use lukewarm water. Hot water can be a bit harsh on your hair, especially if you're not using a water filter that filters out the minerals. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use some lukewarm water, cold if you can tolerate it. <laughs> So for my shampoo today, I'm using this one from Bumble and Bumble. It's a repair shampoo and it helps to build new bonds and strengthen your hair, which I always need a little bit of strengthening because my hair is so fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just shampoo my hair. This is my first wash. It really helps to kind of take off that first layer of product buildup. And then I'm gonna rinse this out to prepare for my second shampoo. Now, this second shampoo is where I'm really gonna get the suds. I'm really gonna get that nice, deep cleanse that my hair and my scalp needs. So I'm gonna take my time with this shampoo, really work it into my scalp, massage my scalp, and help to remove any sort of buildup. I'm taking this little hand massager. This is from Fakai, but I'm sure they sell these anywhere. You can probably get them from Amazon. And it's a scalp massager, and I love to use this for my shampoos and really kind of any time. Scalp massages are just so great for a, removing the buildup, and B, it's therapeutic. It's really great to stimulate the blood flow, which really helps with the hair growth as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and massage, and then let's rinse out this shampoo and prepare for the deep condition. And you just wanna make sure you're getting all that shampoo out. So for my deep condition today, I'm using this treatment mask from Pattern. It's super hydrating and very smoothing for the hair. And then I'm gonna take this Briagio Don't Despair Repair. It's a hair cap with a hair conditioner as well, so you'll see that process. But I like to work in sections, that way I know that my hair is fully coated and fully saturated, which is extremely important. You wanna make sure that all of your strands are coated. Then I'm gonna take this pattern brush and I'm gonna very, very gently detangle my hair from the tips to the roots. And this helps to make sure that the product is distributed and it also helps to just remove any shed hair from my braids that I had and really helps to smooth and detangle as well. Taking another nice chunk from the side and I'm gonna make sure that I am pretty generous with this conditioner and then detangle as well. And I'm just gonna do this all over the head and just making sure to take my time. If this brush, if the teeth are too tight for your hair type, you can always use a paddle brush that has teeth that are a little bit more separated. You could use a modified Denman. And, or you could just use a wide tooth comb. Sometimes fingers work really well, but I wanted a really, really nice detangle to make sure that I had no more tangles, no knots, and that everything was silky smooth. And here is my last section in the front, making sure to really saturate. Here, my curls tend to be a bit looser, but actually, this is a little bit of heat damage. I had a little bit of heat damage from one of my jobs, so it's okay. It's not crazy, but you will notice that it is a little bit looser than the rest of my hair. So just working all around, making sure that everything is smooth and perfect, so that way we can move on to the next step. My hair feels amazing, by the way. So I'm taking the conditioner from the Briogeo little set 
And this conditioner is super creamy, really thick, and really moisturizing. So I'm starting at the ends first to make sure that that's fully coated. It's usually where I need most of the help. And then I'm gonna work this throughout the rest of my hair. Really making sure everything is nicely saturated. So once my hair is coated, I'm just gonna kind of tuck it up into a bun, make it easier for my next step, which is to apply the heat cap. So you can use any kind of shower cap, but this one is actually moisturizing. It has some product on the inside. And then I'm gonna apply this kind of towel wrap, and this really helps to lock in the heat, which is your best friend when it comes to a deep condition. You really want the conditioner to penetrate. So leave this in for as long as possible. I opted for 10, 20, 15, 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> So after 40 minutes, I'm taking this off and my hair feels so moisturized. I went ahead and rinsed it out so we can move on to styling. So as always, I'm going to go ahead and section my hair. It makes it so much easier to apply product, to make sure everything is evenly coated, to make sure it's perfect. And I'm taking this Nourish and Shine. This is a curl primer. This helps to smooth the cuticle. It really helps to moisturize and it's gonna prime my hair for the next step in applying my product. So I love this stuff. It's so good and I've been using it and it's incredible. So this one is the main choice. It's a moisturizing styling cream. I'm the biggest fan of the main choice. I love all of their products. I haven't found one product that I just didn't like. It works so well, the ingredients are great. So I'm starting at the ends, working up, and this is going to be my moisturizer. Gonna help to moisturize my curls, really help to kind of lock in that moisture, so that way my wash and go can last throughout the week. So I'm just finger raking my hair. I can't believe my hair has grown this long. And I'm gonna take this curl defining gel from Alafia, and I love Alafia as well. They make really great products, especially for the body. They make really good uh, body lotions. But anyway, <laughs> I'm applying this gel, and this is just going to lock in my curl pattern. It really helps to elongate the curls, give me excellent definition. I love that my hair is super soft and touchable after I use this product. It doesn't make my hair too hard. It doesn't make it sticky and my hair doesn't flake. So this is my little, you know, process that I've been using for my wash and goes and it feels so, so good. And my hair really, really loves it. So I'm just going to work this through and basically continue and repeat this pattern throughout my hair. So again, taking a small section, applying that curl primer foam. And like I said, this really helps to moisturize, but also to seal the cuticle and make my hair really smooth. Then I'm applying a little bit of the styling cream moisturizer, and then we're gonna lock that all in with the Alafia Curl Gel. So here you can see the back. This is my crown and my crown tends to be a bit tighter, a little bit coarser, so I, I'm a lot more gentle here to prevent any breakage. And we're finishing up here in the front. My hair is very fine in the front, so also just being very gentle. Be gentle with curly hair in general, okay? That's the general rule, just be gentle. <laughs> You don't want to break your precious curls that you worked so hard to grow out, especially if you want length retention. Length retention is all about keeping your hair moisturized, keeping your body hydrated, having the right diet, using the right products for your hair type, which is not necessarily about the curl type, but more so about porosity, more so about moisture and your lifestyle and the climate that you live in is all very, very important. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of place my curls the way I want them to dry. Because we want some TLC and some love, we're going to go ahead and air dry today. Air drying is the best method for 
retaining moisture in your hair. You can also blow dry on cool if you are pressed for time, but today I'm chilling. So I'm gonna add some of this growth oil also from the main choice. I also use the hair vitamins from the main choice. I'm not so religious about it, so I might use it every three days, but I really, really love this oil. It's so good, it smells good, and it really works to keep my hair nicely hydrated. So I'm just applying this to my scalp, and then I'm gonna give myself a really, really nice scalp massage. Now you can take all the time in the world with this because this is just really great to stimulate again your hair follicles, your scalp, and giving your hair much needed food and love. So here is my hair completely air dried. It's movable, it's touchable. I definitely need a little bit of a hair trim, but I am loving the results. Tons of definition and I just can't believe that my hair is growing and it's healthy and well, I guess I can believe it, but my hair is healthy, it's growing and I am in love. So I hope you all try out this method and let me know what you guys think down below. Did it work for you and your curls and are you gonna take out some time for some curl TLC? Let me know down in the comments below. I love you all and I will catch you guys next time.